My PM routine. I love, love, love it. If you can see, I get pretty oily. Go straight to the dry face. Please wash your face. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Attorney Brooke. So I am actually just getting off for the day and getting back home. Pretty tired, it's just been a long office day dealing with stuff. So I just wanted to hop on and show you guys kind of how my makeup wore throughout the day and how it typically looks. So I didn't do any kind of touch up or anything today. And it might be kind of hard to tell, but you can see, if you can see, I get pretty oily and shiny like all through here, all across the forehead. Sometimes I'll touch up powder throughout the day, but today just wasn't one of those days. So I was going to take the, the chance to show you guys what I do to clean my face, like my PM routine. So usually by the time I get home, if I don't have any evening plans, I'm ready to like get all this crap off my face. So what I always, always start with, and I've gone through several bottles of it, is the Ren. It's by Ren Clean Skin Care, the perfect canvas clean jelly oil cleanser. Um, I love, love, love it. It is basically like an oil-based cleanser and it starts out as like almost like a thick, thick serum gel feel. And then it turns into an oil as you use it on your face. And then once you start adding in a little bit of water, it kind of turns into like, it doesn't lather, but it definitely like dissipates like beyond the oil consistency. So I don't know a whole, whole lot about Ren, but I have showed you guys before the Ren AHA daily glow toner that I use every morning. So I've dabbled in a couple of their products and I've gone through several bottles of each and I really like them. I know that Ren is a clean product, cruelty free, vegan, all of those like really good shout outs for brands. Now I definitely am not absolutely perfect with all of my makeup and skincare, but I have learned and have tried to be a bit more intentional over time with my skincare routine at a minimum. I'm trying to dabble into cleaner, like more quality ingredients with my makeup routine, but for sure I try to dive into clean products for my skin. But with that said, I'm not perfect and not pretending to be. So if there's anything I show you guys and you know it's not your thing or you don't like added artificial fragrances or something like that, then skip it or try something different. But I'll just show you guys what I do super quick. I start with the Ren. Now, only thing about this, I think this is the only size it comes in. A little does go a long way, but I I tend to move through it pretty quickly for whatever that's worth. So you can kind of see like how it comes out. It's like oily and kind of goopy. And then you just go straight to the dry face. And I try to be like as gentle as I can. Like once you start it like working, it'll be smooth on your face, but try not to yank your skin too much. I know it seems so weird to go in like on a dry face, but that's the way that the oil-based cleansers work. Try to get in that hairline the best I can. Like clearly I don't wash my hair every day. Like this is a day I couldn't even tell you what day I'm on where it's just slicked back. I wore a little headband today over it and some earrings. So that kind of spruces it up, I guess, but I don't know. So I have found that the Rin, this Rin cleanser is not the best at getting off mascara, especially like today I used like a mascara primer and then used a couple coats of mascara. So I don't know, I've never really found a cleanser that's just like the holy grail getting off mascara. I usually, if I'm like washing my face over the sink, I like wet and like saturate my eyelashes first and just like lightly pull it all off. That's what I've literally done since like I've been wearing makeup and then I go in with my cleanser, but just trying to break it up the, as much as you can. All that. Okay, I am gonna go rinse this and I'll pop right back and show you guys the next step. Okay, so just cleaned or cleansed my initial cleanse with that Rin oil jelly cleanser. So if you can see, like I still have some bronzer and stuff in my hairline. I know that like all the mascara isn't off. So like definitely not like the OG, like hardcore cleanser. I definitely would follow up with a double cleanser on it, but I like it because it really breaks down everything else. So what I do to follow up and I use this product, it's by Summer Fridays, it's the 
Super Amino Gel Cleanser. So I have probably gone through about 20 of these. I have used Elta MD Cleanser before. I used to use, I believe it's by Cetaphil, their cleanser, but this one I they came out with, I don't know if they reformulated it, but they did change the bottle, the Summer Fridays brand, and it's so good. It's very, it's gentle, like truly is gentle in nature, but, and so you don't have like an oily film or anything like that, but it also removes makeup hardcore and doesn't leave your skin feeling like super tight or like dry. It just kind of like brings your skin back to equilibrium, like how your skin would feel without anything on it. So this is a brand new bottle. I'm actually out of my last one. A little goes a long way with this. So it, it tends to last probably a couple months for me, but I've shared with you guys a couple of the Summer Fridays products I use, and I've pretty much dabbled in every single one that they've ever come out with. I've been like an OG follower of Summer Fridays since like their first product, which I believe was their jet lag mask. So love, love, love the Summer Fridays product. This is just all around so good. You guys try it. So I'm gonna hop off and go cleanse my face with this real quick and do the double cleanse. It just needs water and everything, just traditional, like traditional face cleaning. So be right back. Okay, so I'm back from double cleansing with the Summer Fridays Super Amino Gel Cleanser. So a trick that I've learned with facial cleansers is that I think usually we have a tendency to just kind of like do your dime size rub here, here, here for about like 10, 15 seconds. And then, okay, we've got like most of the surface debris off. Let's wash it off. So a trick that I've learned is like truly give yourself like at least 60 seconds of like lightly lathering in all places to actually let the ingredients and like the benefits of the actual cleanser itself like do its job. So just a little tip, just take your time, slow down and really get like those toxins and the, the day off of your face. So that's a double cleanse. Usually I double cleanse, especially if I'm wearing any kind of makeup that day. Next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop on some eye patches, a little bit of the Laneige lip balm, just for now, just throughout the evening. Every time before I go to sleep, I definitely lather it on. There's nothing worse than crusty lips, so like please use your lip balm. And then I'm gonna pop on these eye patches by Bio Aqua or something. I'm not sure. Here's what they look like. They're in a, they come in a, a little jar and they're uh, like sheet eye masks, and you can see like the serum and the product. They just like soak in it. So I was influenced by Kathleen Jennings Beauty. I believe that's Kathleen Jennings Beauty. She had, that, I think that's her Instagram handle. She's just like go-to like skincare guru and she's like constantly testing products and trying things. So she found these and so I was like, wanna give them a try. So interesting, I you can see how they're shaped. So not your traditional, like just one panel, like under eye eye mask. So super serum-y. I actually had these in my, I, I store them in my skincare fridge. So they're nice and chill. I don't always throw on eye patches, but like today's been a day. So we're just gonna do it. And it just feels good to like unwind. So like you can see they don't fit perfectly. I'm probably gonna get serum in my eye, but like beauty's pain, you know? Just kidding. I haven't had a problem with the serum getting in my eye, but they just like don't sit. <laughs> absolutely perfectly. But I mean, I'm not like, you know, practicing my cartwheels or anything. So we're gonna be fine. I'm about to just like go sit on the couch. Now let's pop on the other one. So like I said, I was influenced to try these. I've done them a couple of times. They're, they feel so great. And I got them off Amazon. And I don't think they're like Amazon Prime and they might be out of stock right now, but I ordered mine and I'm pretty sure it said they weren't gonna be shipped until like, I'd ordered them back in April and said they weren't gonna be shipped till early May and I got mine in like a few days. So who knows what's going on, but I'm not like overly familiar with the ingredients, but I've enjoyed using them. They're nice and chilling, de-puffing. I'm sure they have some good like plumping quality to them too, but yeah. So I got my lip balm on, double cleansed, got the eye patches on. I'm gonna chill for a sec, and then once I'm kind of relaxed and done with the eye patches, I will pop on and show you the last bit of the PM routine that I do every night. 
So I just took off the like double sided eye patches. Now I'm gonna jump back into the rest of my PM skincare routine. So next what I do is I do like a cocktail of these two products. The first one is the Summer Fridays Dream Oasis Deep Hydration Serum. Again, Summer Fridays product. I think this is one of their newer products they came out with. I've used about half of the first bottle. I've really been enjoying it. I also cocktail it with the Summer Fridays Heavenly 16 All-in-One Face Oil. So, so good. Definitely straight oil consistency comes out in the dropper, whereas this one is the pump. Um, and it comes out basically like a serum, like a gel moisturizer kind of. So I cocktail these two into my hand couple pumps of that and then I think they say you can just do a couple of drops of this but I usually do like a full thing got that on my hand and then I just go for it literally it brings my skin back to life i like to focus more of like my hydrating products at night to really let them soak in and do its thing and regenerate the skin at nighttime. and also like i've said many times i am very oily so it might seem counterintuitive to put a lot of oils on your skin but if i'm giving myself hydration from the inside so being hydrated drinking water Water, things like that plus adding those hydration elements on the outside it's actually from what I've learned is going to help with slowing down that oil production so like I said it might seem counterintuitive but giving your body the actual moisture and oils it needs is gonna help it from trying to constantly spit it out and being in Houston with like a hundred percent humidity all the freaking time and with it being like 100 degrees outside majority of the year doesn't help either so yeah these two products i follow up with again the summer fridays line i love 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 it's a clean line it's the vegan cruelty free good ingredient shout outs they um are i would call them like an indie brand working their way from like small business it's owned by one of the owners is mariana hewitt and then the other one is i can't think of her last name but i know her first name lauren i I believe and I follow them on Instagram. Their products, I get them through Sephora. They are carried in multiple other stores and they ship to all different countries that I'm aware of. They also have their own online website where you can buy their products. I know that Summer Fridays through their online websites directly from their business, they have a rewards program to where you can, as you buy the products, you can accumulate rewards and then use those rewards later on for discounts on future purchases. And then again, and also at Sephora, they do a lot, or I'll stock up at Sephora usually during like the Sephora's like biannual big sales, like their springtime and I think a winter sale, sale where they put their products 20% off. Well, excuse me, for certain levels of rewards program through Sephora, you can get specific discounts. I'm a Sephora addict, so I've accumulated like enough in the rewards program to qualify for the 20% off. That'll be a whole other video another day about my Sephora addiction. That is my PM skincare routine. So starting with the double cleansing, sometimes if I want, I'll follow up with some eye patches or just another mask to kind of just unwind, decompress for the day. After that, I follow up with the two cocktailed products. And then before I go to bed, I'll do a good, another generous layer of the Laneige lip balm. Other than that, that's about it. I would say if there's like one PM tip, Tip that like you must follow for your skin girls and guys please wash your face like even if you don't use makeup just even a simple soap and water like anything wash your face get the toxins get the dirt the grime the day off your face at night and let your skin regenerate at night while you get that rest I would say I have built my PM routine over time I didn't just like go out and buy everything at once it's also been a factor of just loving the summer Friday's brand and then trying their products as they release them. So I've been just accumulating over time what that PM routine looks like. I like it right now. It works for my skin. So I'll, I'm definitely interested in dabbling in other products and I'll do it eventually. But yeah, don't feel like you have to go out and just like create this like badass PM routine or else you're going to have pleather skin one day. Like that's not it. Just do what like works for your skin and you'll see over time like what makes you 
feel good and what makes your skin kind of just like remain in its own natural state. And everybody's skin is different, so different products work for different things. That's it. Thanks for tuning in, you guys, with a little bit of like my skincare side and checking out what that PM routine is. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of me and what my randomness is, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.